In this video, I'll run through how to connect your Pro Controller to your PC without using Steam. One of the best things about the Pro Controller is that it doubles up as a decent pad for any games that you do have on your computer. I'll also share some of my best tips for emulator button layouts for when you're using a gamepad, so make sure to check that out. Timestamps can be found in the description box below, so feel free to jump to the relevant section. Remember to let me know if you found this guide useful. On to the tutorial. Now, before you start, you're going to want to make sure your laptop or PC has Bluetooth. To check, Go into your PC search bar, type in Bluetooth, give that a click, and if you see options for Bluetooth, you're good to go. If not, you can get a Bluetooth dongle adapter for your device that you can plug straight into your USB port. Once you've found your Bluetooth settings, hold down the sync button on the top panel of your Pro Controller until the four lights at the bottom start flashing. This should take about three seconds. While your pad is still in pairing mode, go to add Bluetooth or other device, hit Bluetooth, Pro Controller should pop up, so give that a click. Depending on the type of game you're playing, that might be all you need to do. However, if you're still unable to use your pad, just keep watching. To get your Pro Controller to work with apps like emulators, you're going to need to download a third-party program. The one I use is called joy to key It's completely free to download, and I'll leave links in the description box down below. You definitely don't have to use this particular program, but this is the one I've been using for a while now. The rest of this tutorial will assume you've chosen joy to key as your program of choice. After you've downloaded the joy to key setup, install the program and open it up. This button mapping screen should pop up, and if you tap any of the buttons on your Pro Controller, they should register here with a yellow highlight. If you're finding that none of your pad's inputs are registering, go back into your PC's Bluetooth settings and make sure this says connected and not just paired. From here, feel free to map your buttons as you wish. You can create different profiles which you can easily switch out depending on which game you're playing. For tips on the best settings i found for using GBA emulators, skip to the button mapping section in the timestamp below. A quick note guys, if you're finding this useful, consider dropping me a subscribe. I release weekly tech related videos and I'm still really new to YouTube so I'd appreciate your support. Anyways, back to the tutorial. Although everyone has their own button layout for using an emulator, this is how I would suggest having your button layout specifically for using a gamepad with an emulator. It's a bit long, but trust me it's worth it. I personally use Visual Boy Advance so I'll run through mapping with this particular program, but do feel free to use any other emulator. Firstly, you're going to want to set up the buttons on your emulator. Click options up top here, input, and then configure. Click on a player profile, I'll use player 4 for this, and then work your way through each of these white boxes by clicking on the white space, and then tapping the button you want to map on your keyboard. I'll have my recommended settings on screen now, so feel free to pause the video. Make sure you don't forget to map your speed button. Next, you're going to want to remap your save and load state buttons. Go back to options, but this time click key shortcuts. Scroll down until you see save states. Click save state one, click this white box and map it to a key. I personally use Q. Scroll back up, find load save state one, click that, click the white box and map this to a key on your keyboard. I personally use W. Then hit OK and you're good to go. Once you've set up your emulator, you're good to jump back into our joy to key program. The simplest way to make sure you map your buttons correctly is by using the yellow highlights here. Tap a button on your Pro Controller and see what's highlighted on the joy to key window. Click Edit Button Assignment, tap on the key you want to map the input to, and then hit OK. Work your way through each button and you're good to go. If you watched the previous section, this is where my emulator settings come in handy. You can copy all the settings I have on screen and make any further adjustments as you go. If you want to make this process as quick as possible, you can use the bulk assignment wizard and just follow my settings on screen. If you're using a gamepad and an emulator, I highly recommend setting up your buttons in this way. It lets you easily save scum in Pokemon games and being trigger happy with that speed up button has never been easier. I hope you found this video useful. Happy gaming. Did that work? <laughs>